Last week, gunfighters from the 366 Fighter Wing joined forces with the 334th Fighter Squadron from Seymour Johnson Air Force Base and the Marine Attack Squadron 223 from Marine Corps Air Station Cherry Point for gunfighter flag. The exercise allowed each squadron to test their specific learning objectives while working together in a multi-service environment. This gunfighter flag, uh, like others, is focused on contested integrated operations. And so there's actually elements of all the different things you might uh, encounter in a, a near-peer, high-end fight. Joint efforts like this reflect how communication works between different services while deployed. When we deploy, uh, and when we traditionally have deployed, you find yourself on a base with uh, multinational and joint service partners uh, working together, not only on the, on the station, but also coordinating and planning missions and employing together. Uh, and so this opportunity very much mirrors what we do, uh, what we'd like to do uh, when we go downrange rather than being compartmentalized and separated as services and as partners. Uh, when we get to brief together, plan together, execute and then come back and debrief it together, we learn the most and we become a better uh, fighting force. As Colonel O'Donnell participated in his last gunfighter flag here in Mountain Home, he recounts how important this exercise is for the entire base. I'm very uh, happy about how the gunfighters uh, flags go, uh, the initiative that's uh, placed uh, in this and the focus to be able to make them happen, and all the people that participate uh, across the board, not just our flying organizations, but the entire base uh, supports uh, these events because it is above and beyond what we normally do on a day-to-day -day basis for our own training, but it is truly a great opportunity for us because it helps our training as well. It makes us better uh, when we do go to combat. So I appreciate everyone's uh, support uh, and participation. 154 sorties were flown during the exercise with 147 air-to-air -air kills. Planning for the next gunfighter flag is already underway. From Mountain Home Air Force Base, I'm Senior Airman Sataya Burton.